Hello everyone. So this is bringing you an update of where we are with the rail projects going on in Lagos. As we know from my last um, update, we have the blue and the red line rail systems in implementation stage. So this will just talk to you about where we are on both of those two rail lines, bearing in mind that we're following a program to complete by the last quarter of 2022. So let's talk about the blue line. The blue line, we have two main sites ongoing. We have one round about that Leventis area and you will see a lot of work going on with beams being launched. What that is doing is trying to connect us from where we had stopped, which is just coming out of um, National Theatre, and this one will take us all the way to Marina. So right now we've started to lay the beams and that's where we are. And the implementation of the beams is expected to go on till the end of February, beginning of March. And we're also building some piers. We are implementing some shoreline protection in that area so that we can reclaim some land upon which we will put some of our um, piers. So therefore, in that area, you will see the uh, beam launch going on. You will see the piers being um, built in, in the area of um, Ebuteru. And that is what is going on in that area. And all of that work is expected to be completed latest by the end of March. Going to Marina Station, there is a lot of work you will see going on round about that, what we see as our Marina Station. And for now, you will see the piers all along the length from Marina all the way back to National Theatre. About 95% of it has been completed. And what we are now doing in Marina is actually building the station. The station will be elevated. So when you think of it, it's trying to visualize what will happen. You are coming all the way from National Theatre, elevated, and you will go all the way elevated to Marina. When you get to Marina, that is the terminal point for the Blue Line. And there is a terminal station. The Marina station is the terminal station. And at Marina station, the uh, rail platform will be on the second floor. The station area will be on the first floor. And the ground floor will be where the buses are. As we said earlier, Marina station will be a major interchange. So beyond the station, it's an interchange, which means that we will have intermodal uh, transportation at Marina. So there'll be um, a jetty there, there'll be bus terminal underneath the railway station. So the station as we are now is about um, 40 to 50 percent complete um, and we expect the completion of that station to be circa last quarter of 2022. So, let's talk about the red line. As we know, the red line starts from Agbadu all the way to Oingo. So we're going to take it from Agbadu and begin to speak about every station until we get to the uh, end of this first phase of um, the red line. Like I said previously, the red line is being implemented in phases. So this particular phase goes from Agbadu to Oingo. So Agbadu, Agbadu will have a station and Agbadu is also where we will locate our depot. So for now, Agbado is at a stage where we are doing acquisition, land acquisition, and we are working in collaboration with Ogun State to ensure that the works that we will do there, they will support us. And in fairness, uh, Ogun State government, um, especially the Lands Bureau, the um, Ministry of Transportation has been very, very supportive and we're working with them as we speak. So right now we have identified the areas where we will need to do acquisition and we're working with um, the requisite or the relevant ministries in uh, Ogun State to bring that to fruition. And we're obviously working also with our designers and, and, and our consultants. So for us, um, once we complete that acquisition, we will move onto site and start work. The next station is Iju. At Iju station, we have identified and we have done all of the acquisitions and compensations in that area. We have cleared the area and we have now started to do the foundation works in Iju station. Iju station is a station for us that um, is in a location where there is 
um, expected heavy ridership onto the uh, red line. So it is an important station. It is also a station that has an NRC station as we speak. So there will be some sort of collaboration with NRC on that particular one. And there is ongoing discussions with NRC as to where we want to locate our station and how we ensure that we don't impinge in any way, shape or form on their own operations. Going forward, the next station is Agege. Agege is a very important station for the Red Line because this is the location where we will have the interface with NRC, i.e. the station that you can get off if you are coming from Ibadan, on the Lagos Ibadan rail line, and change onto the intra-city system to allow you access all the stations within the Lagos Red Line. So Agege station, there is an NRC station there, NRC station is already built and is being operated by NRC. We will build another station not far away so that we can be well integrated with NRC. As we speak, the um, acquisitions have been done, the foundations have started, the area has been cleared and the foundations have started. Agege station, very much like Iju station, will be two uh, level uh, story buildings and the design is complete and we are starting to implement the foundation works. Now, for us, these are stations we are certain that we can complete before the end of 2022. And we are on target and we're on program for those stations. So the next station would be Keja Station. Now, Keja Station is, for us, is a very exciting station. It is an iconic station for the Red Line. It is the one station that speaks very majestically of the red, for the red line. Um, the station is a major interchange for transportation within Lagos because we're um, co-located with the bus terminal that already exists. We will also, you will also be able to interchange with the BRT, the bus stop BRT along, Ikeja along on the BRT, uh, Abuli Egba Ushodi BRT is also integrated with that um, particular station. The building is very impressive and there is about three stories plus the ground floor for this one. There will be commercial activity within the station. There will be recreational activity within that station. As we speak, uh, all of the foundation is completed. We have now gone to the first floor level of that station and there is very good progress going on. And yet again, we are confident that we will be able to complete that particular work before the end of 2022. Now, Oshodi is an interesting one because Oshodi, if you all know Lagos, you will know the uh, big transport interchange that we have in Oshodi. What the red line will do is to integrate with that particular interchange. So there will be um, a platform along the track and there will be a pedestrian bridge that will take you from the platform and it will be connected into that Oshodi interchange. Uh, we are working with the designers of um, Oshodi Interchange to ensure that we can um, ensure a functionality for not just the buses who are currently using that interchange, but also the rail when it comes into play. So going forward, we have Mushin Station. Mushin Station is um, a very simple station for us. It allows us to have ground plus first floor and at this station we have also started the work on the foundation the whole the acquisition in that area is completed we're working with all the um, uh, traffic management systems to ensure that we provide uh, diversions where we need to to ease uh, traffic in Lagos so the other people we're working with are the service providers to ensure that we can divert all services so as not to cause a delay for the project. Yaba Station. Yaba Station is, at this point in time, we have done all acquisitions for Yaba and we have started the work on the um, first floor. So all the foundation works is done, the, the ground floor works is done and the columns are coming up now to support the next floor level and we don't see any challenges on that at all um, and that one is also on target um, and the same exists for Oyimbo but Oyimbo is probably one of the furthest gone stations that we have. It's ground floor plus three levels and all those levels have been completed 
and we're starting to do uh, masonry work for Oingo Station. So Oingo Station uh, is probably going to be completed um, end of first quarter of 2022. And the only thing that will be left to do with Oingo Station would be the platform and that should be completed before mid-year 2022. Uh, and that is Oingo Station and technically that's where we terminate this first phase. But in order to ensure we have access to NRC Depot, which they have kindly um, insinuated that they will allow us to co-share with them, we're going to have a single track go all the way from Oingo into Ido and that is purely to allow us to have stabling that ensures that we have operational functionalities when we begin the operational works for the red line. Now we've spoken about stations and where we are with the stations. As you all know, part of this project also is the implementation of overpasses. We have four overpasses. Um, the first one for us is in Ikeja. Uh, that work is ongoing and it is on target and we don't envisage any problems as we speak. The work is continuing, all the designs completed, all the foundation work's done, and we're starting to do the superstructure. So the substructure is all done, and we're starting to look at the superstructure now. Now, the next um, overpass is at Mushi. If you think about the uh, Ikeja overpass, that's like a T-bridge. Mushi is a straightforward overpass. It just flies over the rail from Ogumokun Street onto Kayode Street. Um, that one also, we have started uh, the foundation works for that overpass. And we know that because it's a straightforward um, overpass, it's just uh, flying over the, uh, the rail, we are certain of completion by the end of 2022. The next one is Yaba. Yaba is also a T-bridge like the Ikeja um, overpass. It, you lift up from Ojo Elegba. Ojo, part of Ojo Elegba Road will be raised and the uh, Murutala Mohammed will be raised and they will meet each other um, elevated to allow those who want to cross over the rail to do that. So really and truly the bridge in Yaba is it's very far gone. Uh, all of our foundation is completed on Murtala Mohammed. We're starting to do the foundation works on uh, Ojo Elegba. Uh, the superstructure, the beams that will be put on top of our substructure, uh, about 75% of them are completed. And we don't envisage any problems when it comes to um, completion as we have promised. Um, so the final overpass that we have is Oingu. Oingu overpass is also quite far gone. All of the works, all of the substructure work on Murtala Mohammed is also done. So for Oingu, it is uh, the connection between Apapa Road and Murtala Mohammed. So Murtala, part of Apapa Road will be lifted up and part of um, Murtala Mohammed will also be lifted up to ensure that we can travel and separate uh, vehicular traffic from um, train operations and also um, pedestrian traffic can also be separated because in all these areas we have pedestrian bridges as well. So that is where we are with the red line um, and indeed the blue line as I said before. Um, as we are within La Mata, we're working assiduously to ensure that we don't sleep with our programme. The vision and the, the mandate of the governor is that we complete this work by the end of next year, and that is what we're doing. We are following that mandate. We're following everything we need to do to ensure we complete. Um, we will try and bring um, as many updates as we can so that you can work along with us as we go and, and, and so that the people of Lagos can also see where we are. And we hope there will be no challenges and we are in asking that the people please, please just work with us here. We're all working towards something and it will be fantastic for the, for, for the state when we begin to actually operate these two rail lines. So we're just asking for your cooperation as we work. There will be a lot of um, disruptions to the way we travel because of the number of sites we have. I've just spoken about six stations that we're working within Lagos and that means six different locations that we will be impeding your travel patterns and the way in which you do you, you go about your daily journeys and we just ask that you just bear with us and 
I guess this one says that we have an end date in sight and we're all working towards that and we can assure you that we will do all we can to, to be certain that that date does not move. Thank you very much. Keeping Lagos moving.